Hello everyone and welcome to the podcast for Waterfalls Part 1. The Claire plotline for me was a bit too crazy. I'm not really quite sure what the writers had in mind for Claire. and I mean, well, obviously what they had in mind was having her go crazy. It's kind of like her and Eli are switching roles, you know, from when he had to be in medicine and, you know, the way he was acting and everything. And now Claire started acting that way, which I guess on one hand is certainly a very interesting thing to do, you know, switch the roles like that. But still, Claire was just almost too crazy. I mean, it's okay to get crazy. You know, it'd be a good thing for her character, but just some of the things she was, you know, going off about sent the article with the the wrong line that she messed up a word or whatever. Unless I'm missing something, why couldn't she just resend the email with an updated copy? The whole ending moment with the touching and then the preview at tomorrow's episode when she's yelling out, you know, you sexually harassed me. You know, I, I wanted this to go into the place of where Claire actually wanted to be with him. Or maybe, you know, she wants a job so bad and she's going to let him do these things to her so she can keep her job. Now, there was a picture of Darcy tonight, which uh, it was really quick, but if you caught it, it was when Claire was uh, working on the article when Eli was on the couch and they panned uh, the camera and you could see quickly a picture of Darcy so nice that they kind of threw us that bone I know many people have been complaining of course you know where's Darcy where's Darcy they threw us a little bone and rightfully so I think we deserved it but uh, we do need to get Shanae back on the show somehow the Casey and Bianca interactions were great tonight Casey setting up his mom with the teacher you know once again parents are showing how important they are to the show or at least how important they can be you know i think this could be the season of the parents you know we've had some great performances and great you know plots in the past from parents i mean but so far we're only you know a handful of episodes in and we've already had you know some really great moments and and interesting plots with the parents you know casey and his mom are always good together and i love the actress who plays Casey's mom you know she did fantastic and you're watching it and you just you feel like it's real you know you feel like this could actually happen and you know that's very important when you're an actor especially when you're a parent on a show because you don't want to come off too you know preachy and you don't want to come off you know just too unrealistic you want to find that perfect balance and I know I've been saying it you know a lot already this season but you know you got to give credit where credit's due. I think the parents on the show are really undermentioned. You know, I think they deserve a lot more praise than they get. And, uh, you know, I mentioned Bianca. I like the mention. Uh, Casey's mom said, you know, you dating anyone to Grassy? And the Bianca said, well, yes, you know, no, Drew dropped out. So I know they're going to focus more on Bianca and her reaction to Drew's dropout, hopefully, in the upcoming episodes. You know, she seemed kind of accepting actually you know it was a quick moment so it's really hard to judge her full emotions but she did seem you know sort of accepting for it maybe she understands you know there's really nothing that she can do about it i thought she would have more anger you know and i guess we'll have to see when bianca and drew interact again my plot line once again proving she is the best niner by far you know i love the new mall set when I visited um, the Degrassi set back in June, you know, Stephen Stone was showing me it and, you know, talking about it and everything, and it was really cool. You know, the Maya Campbell and Katie scene was pretty funny and awkward. And, of course, the awkward almost kiss between Maya and Campbell. You know, I don't know what. I guess Campbell isn't gay. They're just playing it off as, you know, he's just awkward and shy, and he says in the preview he's never had a girlfriend. You know, I thought they were going to take it, you know, further. He was going to have some big secret. I mean, I guess it's possible something could happen, but I guess they, they do seem to be just going down the line of, you know, he's awkward and she's awkward and they're awkward together. And once again, I like that the garden is still being worked on. You know, I love when they have small little plots in the background just going on that kind of weave in with, you know, the current plots of the episode. So tonight was a pretty solid episode, definitely better than Monday and Tuesday's episodes. And I am definitely anxious for uh, tomorrow's episode, the final episode of week three. I can't wait to see what is in store. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you all soon.